so sleepy, it's obviously why you're here. Um, my name is Dr. Calm and I will be here to help you in your, your need for sleep by asking you a series of questions all to do with your sleeping routine and your lifestyle. And then I'll be testing out some different sounds and relaxation methods to see what you respond to and what you don't respond to. Okay, now I don't want to get off on a wrong foot here. Um, obviously we did say to you, come in wearing, you know, some nightwear, some pyjamas. Um, the choice is, is, is interesting. Yeah, yeah, do, do you want to talk me through what you've gone for here? Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Is it something that a grown human would wear? Or perhaps it's a little bit more, a little bit more childlike, maybe? No, it's sold in an adult store. Wow. Well, great, great. Um, do you, do you live, live with anyone at all? Right, well, <laughs> thank goodness. Yeah. Okay. So, um, to get started, um, I need to make sure you are comfortable. Extra pillows, not, not a problem. Um, uh, just signal through the window. Um, pillows. Honestly, never take that lot to a game of charades. Literally useless. We should get some more through in a minute for you. Okay. So, when you're nice and comfortable, we'll begin with some questions, as I previously mentioned, just about your life. Um, I'd like to get to know you a little bit more. Don't worry, this isn't a date. <laughs> if it were, um, I would be leaving. But no, just a series of uh, normal questions. Oh, here are your pillows. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Yeah, oh, we've got, we've got a selection for you. Uh, no, I think that's... Yeah, that's fine, Dave. Yeah. Thanks. No, we're all good. Dave's, um, Dave's new here. Very eager to please, yeah, eager beaver. Yeah, yeah. Shamies are not more sort of uh, eager to, uh, to smell nice, you know. Use some deodorant, Dave, maybe. You know, put on some cologne. But, uh, but hey. Anyway, um, are you all comfortable now? Like a little, uh, little member of royalty there with all your pillows? Yeah? So, let's begin. I know I do have all your personal details on file, but for the sake of this form, I'm going to need them again. Okay. So, could we start, please, with your first name? Oh, it's double-barreled. Of course it is. Goodness me. Uh, were your parents all right when they when they named you? No, no, no. They were they were sane. Okay. Um, and your last name, please. Fantastic. Oh, oh it's relatively short compared to the the double-barreled first name. 
and your date of birth, please. Goodness, uh, aging has not uh, been kind to you. Okay, so the reason that you're here, please, in one sentence, if you can. Okay, okay, so you're struggling to sleep sometimes due to your mind being very overactive. Okay, okay. Well, the good news is, is that's very common. Um, I have to say, judging by um, purely this, um, I wouldn't have said that would have been your issue. No, not sure there was a lot going on up there, but um, clearly there is, so good for you. Um, and hey, you're in the right place because I'm going to work for two weeks. So much. Right, so, would you like to be emailed your results? Great, can I take an email address then? Right, don't worry, lots of people haven't changed their email address since their school days. This is a new one. How new? Last week. Okay, great. Great. Um, imaginative. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah, childlike. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's take opt-in to emails and uh, results. Fantastic. Okay, now we can move on to the general questions. Okay, how long have you been struggling with your sort of sleep issues? Okay. Oh, you're a, you're a chatty one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Goodness, goodness, goodness me. Um, right. Well, uh, thank you for the thorough explanation. I like it. Yes. Um. Okay. Um. And have you ever been um to see a doctor about this at all? Okay. And when was that? Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 Lovely. Great. Okay. Um, and were you ever prescribed any medication? Okay. Then how do you get on with that? Sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We like to take a much more natural approach, shall we say here, um, so we like to understand what helps you relax sound-wise, um, and I just think that's a wonderful way to go, you know? Yeah. Great. So, um, are you um, allergic to anything? No, all these questions No. Okay, not that you're aware of. Great. Do you sleep alone? I mean, I could. I'm good. Okay. And um, how long have you been sleeping alone for? Mm hmm. And, um, when you do sleep, um, do you tend to sleep clothed or unclothed? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm hmm 
sorry, I thought I was going to um, <clears throat> choke then. <clears throat> Almond. Um, sorry, yes, uh, right. And when you are sleeping, do you typically find um, that you're quite hot or do you find that you're quite cool? That was a great joke. Yes, yeah, so write that down. Yep. Okay, and do you like to listen to anything when you're asleep? Or trying to fall asleep, I should say. Mm hmm. Right. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's. Um, That's interesting, isn't it? That's an eclectic sort of uh, eclectic taste there. It's an interesting thing to listen to. I would argue, uh, perhaps not the most relaxing thing, but you enjoy it. Okay, okay, yeah, no, sure, 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 sure. Um, okay, great. Let me turn over the form. You're doing. Are you tired right now? Okay. What time is your normal bedtime? Okay. Oh, we're still going. Okay, no berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, just a, just a, sort of an estimate. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. And, um, well, actually, that sort of answers my next question. I'll just note that. Fantastic. Are you someone who has a sort of nighttime routine? So you'll, I don't know, maybe start to switch off from screens, you know, a couple of hours before bed. Things like that. Mm, okay. Do you tend to eat and drink before bed or whilst in bed? Mm hmm. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Great, great. What do you, what do you like to snack on? No, not my personal taste, but hey. Each to their own. Um, would you like to drink? Oh, mm, fruit tea. That's no, not proper tea, though, is it? It's not proper tea. But I'll write it down. Fruit tea. Tea. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Now, do you think um, that you would feel much more positive in your everyday life? if you achieved a good night's sleep regularly. Okay. Mm hmm Good, good. And how do you feel right now having sort of an unsettled sleep pattern? Mm. Yeah. No, totally. Sure, sure. And with your day job, um, I'm presuming you, you work, you do something? Oh, wonderful. No, I mean, uh, I was going to say, I mean, you have to have something going on if you, you're looking like this. But good for you. Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, so quite a busy job. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How long have you done that? Oh, okay. Wonderful. Very impressive. And do you find yourself feeling stressed throughout the day due to your work? You do. Yeah. How do you relieve your stress? Do you exercise? Do you, I don't know, uh, play a game? Uh, a drink, what 
do you do? Uh huh. Hmm. Right. Wait, sorry, just <laughs> a pogo stick. A pogo stick. No, I just I just wanted to yeah, yeah, I did hear that right. A pogo stick. Okay, great. Uh as I say, whatever. Whatever works for you. Yeah. Okay, um, right. As far as your sort of lifestyle goes, it sounds like you have quite a busy sort of a day. Uh, do you eat quite well and do you, you know, um, limit your alcohol intake and things like that? Mm hmm. Mm. Sure. That's the trouble, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm. No, absolutely, absolutely. <sighs> Goodness me. Goodness me. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move the little blanket off you. Let's just, um. Uh... Hmm. Well, you may want to, uh, have to look at the diet. Yeah, um, maybe introduce a bit more exercise because what people don't realise is when you're sort of active, um, you are just burning all that energy and so when you go to bed, you're a lot more tired, naturally, okay? And obviously it's going to help that. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke your stomach there, uh, but I mean it is quite squinty. I'll just pop the blanket back, pop it back over. Wonderful. So, um, that is the end of the questions. Um, I have got a few more. If I'm being honest, um, I'm quite tired. Yeah, uh, funnily enough, working only at night time at this sleep clinic, uh, you know, it sort of plays havoc with your sleep patterns and, um, yeah, I'm just all over the place. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this together. Okay, Ooh. right. I'd like to begin now with uh, my sort of uh, testing, as it were. So, based on what you've told me, um, I think you're quite a standard candidate, okay? There's just nothing special going on here. Um, but that's okay because it means that I know how to treat you, alright? But everybody is different and everybody has different needs. So we're going to find out what works for you, okay? And together we'll come up with a tailored plan of how we can try to relax you and therefore how you can get a better sleep. Sound okay? Fantastic. Help yourself to water, okay? Right, let me pop this down. Great. Okay, so... What I'd like to begin with is just some very basic sort of visual stimuli, okay? Now the hands are very relaxing things, okay? What I'd like you to do is I'd just like you to pay attention to them. Now unfortunately I'm not going to be doing close-up magic, although I do have the perfect hands for them, but I just want you to watch them, okay? So I'm going to start with one just like you to follow my finger, okay? Good. Fantastic. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd have this level of focus, so I'm really impressed. 
Now, of course, the mind, when we're in bed, it can definitely wander. And you've already said that you have quite an active mind. So, what is important to do here? is to try and find some stimuli that's going to really help your mind to just drift away. Okay. Now, I do like to recommend ASMR videos. So I'm going to be testing out some classic things here. And I'll be able to give you some recommendations on what to watch based on what you enjoy and find relaxing. Okay. Now, you will obviously notice that you are hooked up to a little pulse monitor, okay? So, I am just briefly monitoring your pulse, which is slowing due to this. Wonderful. And as we do these, if you'd like to tell me if you're feeling relaxed, that would be wonderful. Mm. Oh, fantastic. I'm very, very impressed. I'm going to introduce, hello, another one. Okay, so which one are you going to follow? Ooh, decision, decision. Yeah, ooh, okay. How about you just focus on my nose now? Tell me when both my fingers go out of your peripheral vision. Okay, so let's just do a test one. Fantastic. Okay. Good. Have a look at your pulse. Nice and steady. Good. And now I'd like to bring in the magic of the hands, okay? So do some nice, gentle hand movements, okay? Just nice and gentle. Lovely. Let's have a look at your pulse. Fantastic. Now again, I don't mean to brag here, but as you will see, I do have hands that are made programs like QVC showing the items, I think you'll agree, uh, perhaps wasted in a sleep clinic, some may argue. I did try to make it as a hand model, but there was lots of competition. Here we are. But just as I can see, your pulse is slightly raising, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to try this just like this. slightly lowering back. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Try a bit of face attention now. Fantastic. Dave is looking at me through the door. Asking if we need more pillows. Honestly, Dave, God, get a grip. Right, sorry, back to you. Okay, pull 
or slightly raised there, understandably Dave is highly irritated Okay, fantastic. Now I'm going to come a little bit closer to you. And I'm just going to look at There we go. Well, okay. Good. Lovely. Let's have a little look at the monitor. Hmm, good. Okay, I'm sort of picking up on the fact that you like the sort of comfort level of this. Great, great. So, just do that. Okay. Just try to relax. Do you sort of use any imagery when you're trying to get to sleep, you know, for example, picturing a sheep jumping, things like that. Or, you, you know, counting sheep, I just sort of picture them jumping over a fence or something. You've never heard of that. Okay. Um, well, that's quite popular. It's quite a popular thing. Um, I guess you could, um, count apples, you know, sheep aren't your thing, um, no, not into the whole counting thing, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, a technique that I really like actually is saying random things, so things that aren't really even associated with each other, so for example, you can run through a list in your head, say things like apple, sheep, brain, blind, camera, microphones, bed, sleep. Well, that was sort of related. But you get my drift and the sort of uh, random nature of the Mother that words can be very soothing for the mind. Mm -hmm. Oh well, you clearly know best. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, what I'd like to do. Can see your pulses nicely lowered. I'd like to try um, a couple of different sounds. Okay, so the first sound I'd like to try is a bit of a sort of scratchy sound. So this is a sponge. We'll do a little bit of spongy sound first. Now we're going to try scratchy. It's nice and gentle. Okay, 
let's try something else. Oh, hear it already? Got quite a sort of crackly, crunchy sound. Okay, so. sensing that when I'm speaking, your heart rate's also lowering. So perhaps we need a much gentler, softer approach for you. Yeah. Hmm. How about maybe a feather? I'll just sort of just run that over you. Just like so. Mesmerizing, isn't it? A feather. See, imagery can be really powerful before we sleep. Although we say things like limit screen time, which is obviously important. I think, depending on what it is, can actually be quite helpful. Especially if we keep the screen nice and dim and at a good distance. Sometimes visual things just what we need to distract the very busy mind. Hmm, I can see by your pulse rate you're getting sleepier, coming a little bit more restless in bed. Okay, we'll just do one more. I'm sensing you're very visual, so I'd just like to try um, this one last one. Okay. Okay, so we'll end with some classic face brushing, okay? So. Of course, we can do a stipple. Stipple, 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 stipple. write out my final recommendations for you. Obviously, this will be ongoing with you, so we'll continue to monitor you throughout the night. We'll then continue with further assessments, okay? But to start with, what I'm going to note down is that you prefer gentle sounds, okay? Slash triggers. 
and you enjoy a soft voice and you enjoy visual elements that are relaxing as well fantastic so what I'll do is I'll work out a plan for you alright but I don't want to discuss that too much now just because I can see you're very sleepy now okay so I'm going to leave you to rest and relax if you should need anything during the night just press the little buzzer by your bed okay but everything you need should be here and hopefully you're nice and comfortable still fantastic you've got your water there's a few little snacks there fantastic do you have any questions at all no you're too sleepy good all right well this has been wonderful and i'll come back to you in the morning all right sleep well